Good morning, folks. We've got a special report today on the dark side of astrophysics and why it might not be real. We've got other news, weather, and we're starting with the sun over at spaceweathernews.com. Folks, as we are about eight days from seeing that Leviathan sunspot again, our star is giving us a little breather after one of the most notable upticks in solar flares of the last decade. Right now, only the proton radiation storm remains, and it is waning. We have had no more big solar flares. The plasma ejecta has ceased at the lone incoming sunspot group as well. You can see some plasma filaments dark around him. The northern coronal hole is expected to hit Earth with its solar wind stream tonight or tomorrow, and we do expect minor geomagnetic storm conditions, but nothing scary. Let's move on to the ESO, and we're heading away from Earth a moment, zooming in on a hot titanium oxide world. This is the first time they've detected the molecule in the atmosphere of a hot Jupiter after being found numerous times in cooler stars. Cambridge says it's one of the most detailed exoplanet analyses on record. Now, on to this. Folks, the dark matter and dark energy debate rages on, but with a new twist now, and nobody should be questioning the shift. A new paper is out describing why dark energy is not needed in the universe. A fascinating topic. It comes 15 months after the Duke of CERN had to admit they cannot find what they were looking for. Then, a few weeks later, others stated they didn't need it in their models. A few weeks later, other models that didn't need dark matter or Einstein's relativity began passing their first tests. We're still in the fall of 2016 at that point. They look elsewhere last winter and still couldn't find the dark matter. And on the same day, news was released explaining even more models that work without dark energy. They started adding cherries and sprinkles to the Sunday this spring. When scientists realized that ion-trapping dust was hiding 95% of the electric currents on Enceladus, nobody seemed to remember that's about the amount of the universe missing in the original models that required dark matter in the first place. If we are 5% at Saturn's moon, how much of the currents do you think we're detecting in the deep cosmos? And we're back to today's new model, once again. No dark energy needed, which would also eliminate dark matter. That is all in 15 months, folks. Wow. Going to have to add a little bit of that topic at the upcoming conference. And of course, the sun, weather, magnetic reversal, and your health are the primary focus. We'll be announcing most of the speakers and many of their talks on Saturday morning. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps, null school run up to the first break of the polar vortex entering the fall. We also have shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.